Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Dipanjan. I'm a faculty at Indian Institute of Science. Um, I'm here on behalf of the team. Bhutesh and Aditya are the developers. Uh, so what this is, is uh, it's called or um, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Right. So um in Sanskrit means uh, town. So it's like our town. Um, the the motivation behind it is it's based on like a, the concept of the tipping point, like the, uh, popularized by Malcolm Gladwell. Right. If you so what's the tipping point? Tipping point means you know a, s a small ch uh, action giving rise to a big change. Right. Um, so here. So when I go to work, for example, on my route. I see in one place I see some uh, garbage location, right? And I don't. What are my options? I can post it in a complaint forum for the government to take care of it, or uh, you know I can go to Urban Ladder. Uh, sorry, Ugly uh, Indian, for example. But they have a lot of things to take care of, right? So I see that I don't do anything about it. Uh, similarly, people crossing that road are also seeing that they also you know, think that they are the only person affected. So this is an app that you know what you can do here you can see here right now we monitor uh, garbage street lights and uh, adopt a park and it's available on google play since yesterday so it's been a long time so you can go here and say do something about it and it directly takes you to the screen you can say let's say clean your neighborhood um, and you can just take a picture for example Right, so it gives you an option of reporting, you know, pledging 100 rupees or, you know, report your concern or cancel. Um, right now I'm going to do cancel, right? So, uh, for example, if you go to this one, you can see in this one, the cost of cleaning this thing up is, let's say, 10,000, keeping this clean for three months, let's say, is 10,000, right? And, uh, you know, a few of us use this, 11 people interested in this, already 1,100 ru uh, rupees, right? So once this reaches that tipping point of, you know, the cost of, actually doing that thing, uh, then this can be uh, completed, right? So we are um, right now not associated with any government organization, but, uh, you know, maybe we have a proposal out to them and we're working towards that, yeah. So that's what I, you know, uh, I encourage you to, uh, you know, use this app, if, you know, it's uploaded, it's buggy, uh, you know, we're going to put in some, you know, designer, we have good designers, but time has been short, but we're going to maintain this and uh, try to keep it bug free. Yeah, that's what I have to talk about. Any questions? Aurum. Um. A U R, our, U M, our um, right? Our um. Yeah. Are you making the data publicly available? Well, it's yeah, the data is available. Data means all the locations. So, what this app uses is the GPS, uh, you know, the GPS and, um, you know, and the camera, right? So, you know, I also wanted to talk. So, in short, the data is completely public, right? So you know, if you click on that, you can get a list of people who are affected by that, et cetera, right? And in terms of the technology used this, in this, uh, right now we have a very thin client, right? Uh, everything is based on AWS. Um, you know, we have Nginx as the load balancer, you know, Django proxy, uh, S3, similar to Instagram, because our thing is mainly image uh, intensive, right? So it's Instagram based and, you know, the biggest, I think, the biggest technology here is, you know, is the binning concept, right? So, for example, several different phones, if you look at it, typically they say that GPS is three meter across three meter, right? So that's from here to there, right? That's a very good bin. But typically when we tried out with different phones, we found out that, you know, it's like 60 meters away, right? So we are trying to use all this uh, information, images as well as the location to bin them together. If we can't bin, then we can't find the group that can solve the problem. Okay. Uh, is it native? Uh, this is right now native in yeah. so native that it's not available in iOS and Windows. Okay. So I just recommend one thing. I would recommend you to use OpenSheet Maps, if possible, so okay. that you can ask your users to contribute back to the OSM. I mean, they are reporting, right? right? So even the streetlight reporting is good for the improvement of maps. I mean, people will know a lot about OSM. Thank you. Thank you for your suggestion. I also ask Aditya to contact you and get more details about it. Yes. Well, right now, for example, for um, you know, we have three options, right? Uh, garbage and uh, park, um, cleaner park, and streetlights. For streetlights, we don't have any pledge because we are, you know, 
it's for somebody, you know, if we employ somebody to clean, you know, to set up the light, it'll be a problem, right? But there are many private parties in terms of cleaning up. Um, so once, you know, we have talked to them, they have said that cleaning this area would take, uh, you know, 10,000 rupees, cleaning it for three months, keeping it clean for three months. After that, it becomes a new issue. So once this, so we don't take any credit card information or all that right now. We collect the money only after the tipping point has been reached, right? So till, you know, it's a one post or a two poster, we don't collect any money. Once the tipping point has been reached, action can be done. Then the money is collected and given directly to the uh, private party to clean it up. Well, uh, <laughs> manually, right now. So we, you know, this is uh, one day old, right? So right now, uh, net banking is one way we are thinking about, right? Security is a big option, you know, big concern in that case. So in the first few cases, you know, some of the students will come and take the money from you. Okay. Do you have a suggestion like one that you'd like? Okay. I'll come and talk to you. Thank you, Professor.